everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Now, today is a very special day, and the reason being is that today I've got the Rhino 4155 mower on the back of the 7600. And as you know, a few videos ago, I did a video on cutting out the clearings over there. I knocked down some of the growing brush that was coming up, and I took out this here spot this was a thicker spot that i took out because i wanted to test the the 4155 to see just how well it could cut and it does really well now what makes today so special is that i'm not going to be doing just a clearing today i have a clearing on top of the hill that i'm going to do but i'm going to start trying to reclaim some of this pasture so up on the hill up here um, along the fence line where i, I had tagged that tagged that calf I hunted him down and I army crawled to him. That is all full of brush. Now I'm gonna back this thing in there and I'm gonna try to push some of that back because it's grown up over the last two years and as of now, we really can't get back in there unless we do something crazy like army crawl through the brush uh, just to get back in there. So I'm gonna try to push back the brush as much as I can. Um, that is another clearing up there, but I'm also gonna try to come down here. I'm gonna mow as much as I can to the bottom. Uh, Let's get started. You can see all these logs and stuff here. Those are the kind of things that I have to watch out for because like I think I've said this in a previous video. I mean, if you do actually hit, accidentally hit one of those logs, this mower is really only meant for four and a half inch trees. But luckily, from what I've found is that if you do happen to slip something in that's a little bit bigger, don't worry, it'll chop it down to size for you. I mean, I could destroy all this if I really wanted to, but as of right now, I'm not totally sure how much of this I want to destroy. I just want to, I'm going to clear this out, and then I'm going to push back that way. But yeah, like these, these bushes in here, they need to die. this party off I'm just gonna go ahead and start pushing back
Now it's kind of crazy, even to me, just how much of these pastures that I've never even stepped foot on. This is all new ground to me. Granted, there's a huge tree here, but before today, even down there, I would have never stepped here. This is what I want to be, just a pasture with nice rolling green hills with some trees. Now, I'm not looking to get all of the tree, rid of all the trees and all the brush. Um, I just want it to be nice and open so that when you're trying to count the cattle, they don't run into the brush and then you'll never see them again. So, it's just kind of surreal thinking, even one of those last time that someone was able to walk through here, because before I started cutting this down, this was solid brush. Even in the winter, I don't know how many people would have walked through here. It's just kind of cool to think about. I've got everything done up here. I really wish I could have gone back there more, but I just don't have the time it'll take to do that amount of maneuvering. Uh, it's a lot of back and forth, and I do have more that I want to push out. If I get another day where I can come back and, you know, kind of do particular stuff where I have the time to go back and forth and maneuver around and get back down and push push it down the hill, I will. But um, even like over here, I was a little restricted because of some of the stumps that were out there. I went down there and I maneuvered around some of the stumps I could, but I just don't have the time to lift up the mower, fold up the wings, back it up over the stumps, and then keep going down the hill. So. Another day, definitely not today. Uh, I'm really happy just to get this done and to push it back as far as I did. So I'm gonna head back down to the bottom. Try, I'm gonna try to get down across the creek. Not totally sure how well that's gonna work, um, but I'm definitely gonna try, especially because there is a lot of brush over there that I know I can push back. So let's keep going. in the bottom and this is right below where all of the stumps were As you can probably tell by all the trees that are basically just kind of shredded and um, I'm gonna try my best to just slowly work my way up the hill uh, as far as I can go I don't know how much I'll be able to get but I would like to at least clear this out down here and around kind of around that tree as best as I can I gotta figure out how I'm gonna cross the creek here there's a lot of rocks crossing, but this is what I'm gonna be doing next. because it's getting pretty late in the day and there's no way I'm gonna be able to finish this or what I wanted to finish today and there's a lot more to do so I'm definitely gonna be back out here with it again now if you guys are interested in checking out one of these Rhino 4155s I will put a link down in the description uh, I am actually really really impressed with the performance of this thing and what I've been putting it through it's held up very well I was told to put it to good use and that's exactly what I'm doing and um, I'm looking forward to keeping on knocking down some of this brush in the pasture and um, I'm, like I said I'm really impressed with it so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to check out all of our other ones be sure to like comment subscribe and be sure to check us out on Facebook Instagram Twitter and snapchat all how farms work and I'll see you next time let's take a moment for all of the weeds and the shrubs and the trees that fell victim to the Rhino 4155 rotary mower today. Many of them fought valiantly, but unfortunately, none of them will be remembered.